Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely, extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Private Show. The brand new Britney Spears fragrance launched this year, 2016, and is the first um, new pillar fragrance that we have gotten from Britney, I believe since Radiance. Um, I could be wrong on that. If you count the Naughty the Nice remixes as a new pillar, then there, but not, that's okay. Um... This fragrance launched this year, 2016, like I said, and will be available at Kohl's in July. Um, let's start off with the box. So the box looks like this this time, and it says Private Show Britney Spears on the front. And then down here it says 3.3 ounce Eau de Parfum Spray 100 milliliter. And it's kind of got like these like hexagony like embellishments on it, but then they're also kind of like... Um, little darker and lighter ones throughout it. The sides of the box, if I flip it the right way, say Britney Spears Private Show on both sides. Um, same on the top and kind of just a black. On the bottom, it gives you all of the information. And on the back, it shows the promo picture for it. So it says Britney Spears Private Show and it has her spraying the perfume bottle looking ever so gorgeous. The bottle, if I don't drop and break it, looks like this this time and like I said brand new bottle so you got this kind of hexagon shape to the bottle but it's also kind of like a diamond and the fact that it's got these like uh, fact like faceted beveled edges to the perfume um, the sides aren't just flat they are actually beveled um, as well and they're kind of like a diamond shape almost um, on the front it says Britney Spears's private show, or private show Britney Spears, if my light would not, there we go, Britney Spears private show, um, and then you've got the hot pink gem on the top. So, notes for this fragrance, top notes are addictive whip creme crop coffee, middle, uh, with juicy clementine and nectarine, middle notes are dolce de leche, orange flower and jasmine sandback, with base notes of luminous amber, and sensual musk. So, definitely love, love, love this fragrance. Um, it is inspired, um, inspired by Britney herself, and it's supposed to be kind of like her giving us fans what she feels like when she goes on stage. This is her, like, empowerment. This is what makes you feel like you're in your own spotlight. Um, Taking inspiration from her love for Dolce de Leche, white florals, and iced coffee. Many, 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 many things. It's great, great, great. Wrote notes down, done reading those. Um, anyway, so I will say that I really like this fragrance. It's probably my top three Britneys. Um, the first two being Island Fantasy and um, the Original Fantasy, only because the Original Fantasy has some really, really strong... Um, memories to me and it just kind of is the iconic celebrity perfume and then with um, Island Fantasy being very tropical and you guys know I love my tropical scents when you first spray this I get the kind of that creme coffee that whipped cream coffee sweetness at the very beginning um, probably should pull my notes back um, I do get a little bit of fruitiness I get a little bit of that citrusy clementine um, without it being too orangey, and then the nectarine kind of gives it a soft, almost like light peachiness to it. Um, I will say that this does have some ties to the original fantasy, which, if you know anything, Britney loved the original fantasy, and that's why she's made different additions to it, um, to kind of give different moods and different, um, opinions on the original fantasy. So, I would definitely describe this as an evolution of fantasy and the fact that it has a little bit of notes of fantasy um but they're kind of grown up so instead of it being that whipped cream and the cupcake it's um whipped cream coffee so it, you've got that like warmth of the coffeeness but you've also got that sweet whipped cream on the very very top definitely that heart of the dolce de leche shows through and you can definitely smell it, it gives it almost a little bit of a caramel note to it um 
Jasmine definitely does stand out in this fragrance. Jasmine, as you, if you know, is one of Britney's favorite notes. And, um, she likes to put it in almost all of her fragrances. So, it's really nice that this is in there, and it's not overpowering, and it's not like, bam, smack you in the face, but you definitely can pick up on the jasmine in this. Um, as it starts to dry down, um, I definitely think that I get the amber, I also get the musk. It's not too ambery, it's not too musky, it kind of just adds a warmth to the end of the fragrance, and kind of keeps it still sweet and sophisticated, because uh, you got that Dolce de Leche from the middle that kind of blends its way into the base. Um... I have it sprayed here for the base as well. I say lasting power is a good probably nine hours. Um, it does last quite a long time actually. Um, it doesn't, I haven't seen it really kind of, um, it takes a while for it to go from its top to its middle and then from the middle it's to its base. It does take a long time for it to evolve which I really like. I like that your top stays for a little bit, your middle stays for a little bit longer and then your base stays for inevitably longer. Um, I do love that this is a brand new fragrance and it doesn't hold too much ties to fantasy so we're not just getting another fantasy in a new bottle. This is, as much as I love the original fantasy and I love the fantasy line, I do love that this is sweet and sophisticated and empowering and in a whole new bottle and a whole new design, a whole new note build up. It doesn't smell like fantasy, it doesn't have any, um, you know, of that fantasy DNA. This is a whole new show, you know. Private Show is a whole brand new fragrance, brand new show, brand new everything. And definitely going to be something that I would love to see we get spin-offs to and maybe get two or three more private shows and they'd be like I I can't even think of what I would say as a uh spin-off, but I would definitely love to see more additions to Private Show come out and maybe get one in a black bottle and stuff like that. So um, I definitely say this is, could be someone's signature scent. Uh, time to wear it would be, probably in my opinion, summer, um, to the beginning of fall. But definitely this is a signature scent for someone, um, and could be you worn all year round. I definitely say if you were to wear it per season, per time, I would definitely say it's a summertime, daytime fragrance, fall, daytime fragrance. Um, and it does actually project quite well, um... And it doesn't, it's, the, the sillage off of it isn't going to be, you're going to walk out the room and everyone's going to smell you, which is good because there's some fragrances that you don't want to walk into a room and everybody smells you. But if people get close enough to you, they can smell you without having to be super duper close and super, super sensual. But this fragrance does change and get more sensual the closer you get to it, which I definitely like. I definitely like how this fragrance, they changed, um everything with it to kind of show Brittany is changing and she's always pulling out new stops and I feel like this definitely represents Brittany's life right now um and fantasy definitely represents Brittany 10 years ago so this is a perfect transition to see how Brittany has changed in her life and, and as an entertainer so there you guys go there is my review of Britney Spears's private show as always guys thanks so much for watching follow me on Twitter a the s perfume and Instagram among the stars perfume links are in the description below as always thanks guys so much for watching bye